looking at the operational case study for May and for August, just been released to tutors. And this is on behalf of Practice Test Academy. Okay, so it was just my initial views, a couple of videos from a, um, an overview perspective. Okay, so Trax Europe, so you're going to get to know about tractors, dealerships, um, agriculture, a little bit for this for this pre-scene. In the past, it's been chocolate boxes, bracelets, um, what else has been trainers, um, subscription meals, low-cost gyms. Okay, but this time it's tractors. <laughs> okay, right then, so um, you're not expected to do a lot of research outside of the scenario. Seem so like to be clear that the, the information you need is available in the pre scene. So you're not expected to do a lot of industry research. Doesn't harm to keep your mind open, though, to business situations and to be thinking about things that could happen environmentally and so on. Okay, so as always, you're a finance officer. That's always the case. Kind of like a trainee accountant on your first stage of SEMA, just like you guys are. Okay, and you're working management accounting. So there's a big flag that P1 is going to be your lead paper here. Also, you're helping with the financial statements. So a big chunk of your knowledge will be coming from F1. Also, other financial information or other matters. So this is a E1, which plays a supporting role. So P1, your lead paper, F1, your um, underpinning important paper, and E1 is kind of just support. Okay, so you wouldn't expect any models or anything like that from the E1 syllabus. More KPIs, bit of marketing, bit of digital tech, um, things like that coming from E1. Okay, so keep going. Okay, so it's... Um, we manufacture and sell tractors, okay, for agricultural purposes, okay. Based in Europe, so even these, this initial paragraph tells you a lot. We can think about the weather, the types of um, holidays and, and the types of, you know, disposable income, internet usage and so on that people have in Europe, okay. Um, we manufacture them in tea land, but we sell them throughout Europe but not beyond at the moment. That's something that could happen in your exam. Okay, so this is the first time for a while we've seen a group company. Okay, so um, Trax is a subsidiary of Agri. However, don't panic. Group accounting is not examinable for operational level. It's just to give you an idea of structure. So Agri Group are like the parent company. And we're going to have Trax Europe. And it's different branches there. Okay, and then there's also, I think it says later somewhere, Tracks America. There it is. Okay, but knowledge of things like intercompany transfers or transfer pricing or anything, you know, group related isn't examinable. It's just the way the examiner structured this particular case study. Okay, um, and it's Tracks Europe we care about. Okay, so a bit of background. Um, obviously, agricultural equipment. Um, been going since 1860. It's a long-term established brand. Um, and we've got m very many subsidiaries under Agri, as well as Trax Europe and as well as Trax America that, you know, do probably do repairs and probably do, um, you know, uh, different parts and, you know, things like that. Okay, so um, the two subsidiaries that sell and make the tractors, though, are the Europe and the America ones, and we're the Europe one. Okay. So this is quite interesting, too. So we don't sell to the customer directly. We don't sell to the customer who's our farmer. That's our ultimate end customer. So when we're thinking about sales and sales variances and demand and stuff like that, we need to be aware that we sell to dealerships. Okay, so we attract Europe and we sell to dealers. So think about when, I don't know, you might buy a car from Volkswagen or Audi. They're dealerships. They don't even have to be Trax Europe dealerships. They can be independent dealerships who sell our tractors along with other brand tractors and agricultural equipment. Okay. But they're like our first customer who are selling to our ultimate customer who are farmers. So it's quite important to remember that there's a new level of people we need to keep happy which are our dealerships, and they can choose to stock our tractors 
or competitors, and we'll see later that we are one of the big three competitors, so our market share is important to us. Okay, so uh, keep going. Um, we're in this place called T-Land, fictional place um, in Europe, and that's where the manufacturing happens. And we're buying components and sub-assemblies from a variety of suppliers, including our own, our own subsidiaries too. Okay, so uh, some stats here then. Um, in 2022, we've manufactured and sold 31,000 tractors. So that is a lot of tractors. Think of the size of these things, how big they are. And you'll see later the standard cost card, how long it takes to make one tractor. So that, that, is, that is impressive. Okay. And the money's in, we haven't got an exchange rate exactly, but um, I'm assuming that the money's good because the average price of a tractor is a lot if you go researching that. Okay. Gross margin, good. Operating margin, good. We're pretty healthy. Good amount of number of employees. Breakdown later comes to where they all work. Um, so size and scale, we're fairly large, I'd say. So next, let's have a look at our people, our board of directors. Okay, we've got Tony looks happy there. Okay, um, overall responsibility for Trax Europe. Um, he's come from another subsidiary. Um, okay, and obviously um, he's keen to innovate because he was the one who created the Product Development Centre. Okay, so a, a centre specially dedicated to you know, innovation, new products. And that's quite important that the leader of this company is pushing for like, you know, new developments and design and and innovation within the vehicles. Okay. We've got production di director, Jack. Okay. So um seems like promoted, kept the knowledge within the business, must be, you know, um, knowledgeable to have been staying this long from junior level to here. Passionate. Okay, and we've got a little flag here about quality, total quality management. Do you remember that from your E1 topics? And the examiner has said in the examiner's report, where she's made a clear reference to, you know, terminology like that, she's got no sympathy when students don't know what that means. Okay, so the odd place where she'll mention things like smart technology, TQM, incremental budgeting. So where this is... SEMA type terminology, accounting terminology, or business terminology like this. Make sure you've got a good understanding of what TQM means and all the different levels of it and how it would be work at this company. Okay, so TQM. Um, product development director. So there's not always one of these in the case study. This means that we've put someone, the examiner has put someone in the director team just in charge of new products. Okay, so that's quite important. Um because of the, the range of nine they've got um, seems decent, doesn't it? But obviously there's lots more they could do if you look into the markets. There's driverless tractors, there's new fuel, there's robot tractors, there's lawn mowers, there's planters, there's automatic plowers, all sorts of stuff. Okay, so product development, they've got a, someone in charge of just that. Okay, an engineering background. Um, embracing new technology, possibly... Um, could be looking at, you know, driverless tractors or something like that. Okay. And I mentioned then of non-diesel fuels. Okay. So with SEMA being an ethical accounting institute, they're going to have um, a strong ethical uh, thoughts behind anything they do and environmental being part of that. Okay. Uh, so if you look at the back page as well, there's a magazine article about um, environmental um, fuels and so on for tractors. Okay, and there's a little flag that this is something that this product director is thinking about. Things like bioethanol fuels and other things apart from diesel because diesel is expensive, diesel is not good for the environment, and it's there's shortages in the future, isn't there? Okay, so maybe electric tractors, that's possible, isn't it? Okay, um, so sales and distribution director, Rena, she deals with our dealers. Remember, they're our immediate customers. Okay, and distributes them to to the dealers. Okay, been in the post quite a long time, eight years, and has increased the dealer network by twenty percent. So good customer relations. You know, doing well in sales. She might well email you in the exam asking you for sales variances to explain them. Maybe the sales mix isn't as she'd expect it. 
or the sales price variance or the um, sales quantity variance. Um, okay, because she's done been successful so far, but she might be interested in a new product, or maybe she might ask you for some sales KPIs, some marketing KPIs, like number of social media clicks per week or something like that. Okay, so she'd be interested in that. It doesn't say sales and marketing, but I guess marketing would probably fall under her 